Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. What a huge pleasure it is to be here this evening. And may I start by paying tribute to some people in the gallery just above us. Up there we have Paula Hudgel and her family, and on her lap you can see Tony. Tony is four years old, and Tony is an incredibly courageous young man because he was, sadly, incredibly brutalised by his birth parents before his real parents took care of him. He was so cruelly treated that in their care, the assault on him was so great that he lost both his legs. Now, that is an extraordinary situation for anybody in our society to find themselves in. But for a child, at the hands of their parents, it is a wrong that screams out for justice. And that's why I'm here this evening, Madam Deputy Speaker, with, if I may show you, just a few of the 12,000 names in a petition that Paula and Tony have collected to ask for a change in the law. Because how can it be right that had he been an adult and his attacker has been charged with grievous bodily harm, he could have had, they could have received a life sentence. But because he's a child and because they were his parents, the maximum sentence was 10 years. That is clearly wrong. And this petition expresses the wishes not just of the people of Kent, not just the people of Kings Hill and Tumberton Morley, but the people of the whole country who are speaking out for justice, speaking out for Tony, speaking out for the whole Hudgel family, and mostly speaking out clearly of the wrong that we're seeing here today in our country, that this is not more severely punished. So, Madam Deputy Speaker, thank you for letting me lodge this position this evening. This is the first of a, par of a long series of parliamentary steps that I shall be taking alongside the Hudgels in order to change this law and in order to see justice done for children. Thank you. Petition, maximum sentences for child cruelty offences.